Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth. Today we're gonna begin by heading on over to a handy dandy chopper event and after that we got some big stuff in store today. We're not talking news today. We're talking a mud, all right, a mud of the man. Very close to that airdrop actually. The man who keeps on sending these hordes our way because they all come from the same place and that's where he resides. Do you guys know the man of which I speak? The man. Known as the big one. Today is when we take up arms. We're going to be taking all of our very best weapons over there and doing our best to finally bring some justice to that man thing, a zombified person. But first, I did want to try the chopper event. Hopefully, it'll be good. Hopefully, we get some good stuff out of it. Got my M16 or M it's M16 or M4. I don't remember which one it is, but I got it equipped. And I'm ready to go. This is something I wanted to do. We did the unboxing, so we got a bunch of weapons in our uh, inbox in case we need to access them. All we gotta do is make sure we bring enough medical supplies. Dude, is this glitched? I've never gotten anything else other than, uh, yeah, okay, I'll help you, dude. It might be a zombie horde, and I kind of want to see what happens. But this is the only chopper event I get now. I think I, like, glitched my game or something. Because there's, like, two other chopper events that I have not seen in quite a while. Hello, my dude. Nope, okay. If you want to be a mean person, I can be a mean person too. What do you have? Do you have an M16? Yay! That's actually a good sign. You only got a pistol. That's okay. Goodbye to you too. Yay, his body's flopping about. Oh, look at all that blood. Ugh. This man had an M16 and some of that juicy aluminum. I'll take that. I'm like, oh, oh, we'll actually drink up some of this water, try to steal some gas. I'm running a little bit low. We need all the medical supplies and alcohol we can get because we're going to be crafting up as many first aid kits as we can. But uh, so far, not too shabby in terms of the loot. I'm only going to take armor, by the way. Like my 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 armory is getting so stacked to the brim that I'm only taking loot if it's the type of loot that we can. Or I'm only taking armor if it's going to be like a solid quality, if it's like above, if it's blue, like if it's red, I think I'm going to pass on it. Just because I can't really handle much more room. But you know what? I'll take all of that. At least for now. Might have to swap out if there's a good weapon here. But I did want to use this as our last chance to kind of like armor up a little bit. Get some good stuff. Um, why don't we... Yeah, the hell. We got plenty of fuel back home, actually. For the purposes of this video, I want to speed things up. Make them as lickety-splickety as possible. Uh, that thing I can scrap. It's about to go. We'll steal this pistol. And what do you have over here? Last chopper. Can it be a good gun? Fully modded AK? No. Oh, man. All right. Well, uh, something's got to go here. You know what? Why don't we toss? Uh, that's like pretty much one aluminum bar right there. Eh, I can toss these. No biggie. And grab that. And yeah, I'll toss these as well. I haven't been smelting down anything into iron lately. We have a lot of iron bars. Okay. Loot run successful. Now we got to make a quick stop at home. I'll drop off a couple of my things, and from there, you guys will join me in the armory as we kind of pick our weapons of destruction, and hopefully the weapons that will destruct the man that has been bullying us. He's a bully. He's got to go. I'm going to do my best to make it happen. In the meantime, though, I hope you guys have an absolutely a fan freaking fantastic day. If it ain't fan freaking fantastic I hope it gets more fan freaking fantastic maybe through this video, maybe through you playing last day yourself, or maybe through some other shenanigans going on, but regardless of what's going on, I hope it's fan freaking tastic. And if it doesn't get more fan freaking tastic today, then I hope tomorrow sets you down that path of fan freaking tastiness. You go in you, you, English hard. You guys know that I'm always wishing you guys nothing but the best. So while hopefully your fan freaking tastiness continues, I got to uh, put some of the stuff away. Then I'll talk to you when it's time to armor up. All right, and my inventory is pretty empty except for this one nifty little thing known as alcohol and band-aids and first aid kits because I wanted to show you guys the process we're gonna be going through as we try to really make sure that we bring enough medical supplies because I don't know how tough this guy is gonna be. We've never tried to kill him. We've fought him sometimes and realized it's gonna be a very hard fight, but today that changes. Today. We're going in for the kill, and that's exactly what I intend on doing. So I should have enough supplies here to make like a lot of first aid kits. But as we kind of prepare for what's about to happen, rumors say that all that the big one drops is the Bunker Z card, 
Bunker Zeta, I think it is. It drops the card to Bunker Z, which is gonna be a future bunker, I'm guessing. Really hard to get since you have to get, kill the big one to get it. So what I wanted to ask you guys is, do you think that that's a fair amount to drop for fighting something as awesome, epic, and powerful as the big one? Or do you think that the game should, you know, we should get more than that for fighting them? So we're gonna have 45 first aid kits. I really hope that's enough, because if it ain't, Things are not going to be looking good for us, but we do still have some food. And as long as we can, like, get out without dying, we should be able to pick up some food in our inventory as well. Because I've been stockpiling some of that, and I got to pee. So, uh, while I continue to be he pee, pee, pee here. <laughs> oh my god. Talk about that stutter dough. But, uh, what do you guys think the big one should drop? Because I think, at least personally, I think the Bunker Z card, as awesome as that is... You know, I feel like we should get a little bit more than just a card. Maybe like a fully kitted weapon. Maybe like a fully modded AK. Maybe a minigun. I don't know. But I really want him to drop something else. And that's where I wanted to ask you guys for today's kind of question of the day. Is let me know what you think the big one should be dropping after you defeat him. Instead of just the Bunker Z card. Or if you think the Bunker Z card's enough and you just want Bunker to Z to be super epic. Go ahead and let me know that in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys say. And if you do comment down below, remember... That pretty much brings you well on to the way to the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store giveaway. Just make sure to like the video and uh, uh, that you are subscribed as well. I'll pick a random Last Down Earth video on Saturday. Pick a random comment. Bada bing, bada boom. But uh, with the daily question out of the way, it is time for us to do the fun part that I was talking about. AKA armoring up and bringing everything. So today we are going to war. We are not bringing anything weak we're bringing only the most powerful of things as you can see we are bringing only the most powerful of things what other guns do we got here we do have a couple of really good guns stored in our in inbox too but i'm gonna leave those there so they don't take up any space in our inventory but you can see we got like fully modded m16s we'll be able to bring so right now the goal is just to bring as powerful of weapons as possible the Glock is, like, pretty okay, but it just doesn't have the attack speed that I'm looking for, you know? So instead, what I might be doing here... Yeah, yeah, I think I want one, a lot of M16s. Specifically with the sight, because the sight does extra damage. Yeah? Oh, and how could I forget our friend Shots Gun Rain? We need plenty of those, don't we? Oh, yeah, we do, baby. Uh, why don't we actually bring, instead of the M16s with those, why don't we bring... Hold on, I gotta make sure to keep this kind of organized here, right? I apologize. But why don't we bring the AKs first? AKs do do more damage. And if AKs got these sights on them, that's going to be pretty good. So you can see we really brought a lot in terms of weapons. And remember, there will be more than this. Oh, there will be more. But in the meantime, uh, you know what I might end up doing is actually putting away a couple of these things. All right, I might put away the band-aids there. Because that's only two band-aids. I don't think that's going to be a game changer. And I'll put away the carrots there. And hold up. Did I not have 20? Oh, did I put it? Okay. I put it on my hopper already. I was about to say, wait a minute. Did I not have more weapons than that? So that gives us three more slots here to bring on some guns. We ran out of fully modded AKs. And I do want these weapons to be as full durability as possible, too. That is another kind of like thing I'm really hoping for. So why don't we bring a couple of these on board? I think that's the best course of action. And we do still have one more slot. We could bring the drag, or not the drag enough, the Ventores. Problem with that is that the attack speed's pretty low on it. Like, it does a good amount of damage, but it's also like half durability. I don't really want to bring any half durability weapons, except that fully modded AK, but that's like more like three fourths, you know what I mean? So, we'll bring that with, and we do need to have a weapon equipped as well, so I'll just go ahead and equip that one. And I'd say we're looking pretty good. We're ready to go to war. Oh, man. I never thought I'd see the day, but this is it, guys. We're going after the big one in his very own home. This ought to be fun. And I think we also do have plenty of food here as well. So we can, like, slowly restore health if needed. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this, or at least my method of doing this. And hopefully all goes well. Now, here's the problem, though. There is one... Oh, oh, and I totally forgot. We got a couple of these slots as well. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you know what I might actually end up doing then? Why don't we swap out a couple of things then? Because I think, oh yeah, I'm going to go grab one more gun real quick. All right, 
What I decided to do, I actually decided to swap out a couple M16s for AKs, because even like M16s, even with their like uh, laser sight, they still do less damage than an unlaser sighted AK. So what I decided to do is just kind of roll with the punches, and I, I I kept the M16s that had the laser sights just cause, but I, I got rid of the uh, ones that didn't. And then over here, as you can see, we had a couple of the shotguns and that. So, uh, this is it, isn't it? This is it. Time to attempt to take down the big one. Now, the strategy for the big one is going to be a little bit annoying and might need to involve me, um... It might involve me having to like hop in and out a lot. No, don't go to the pine bushes. Uh, it might have to involve me going in and out of the area a lot. Uh, that's kind of the strategy that you really have to use. Because if not, you do get overwhelmed pretty quickly. And it does kind of give you a chance to catch your breath and, you know, not, not get super like pooped on by the guy. But the drive or the jog of doom. We're not driving. We don't drive. We're too good for that. We've got to save our gas. We're, cons we're conservative with that jazz. Oh, I forgot to put on some good armor too. Ah! To hell with it. This armor will last for long enough. And when it breaks, it'll break. So no worries. But for now, we go in and it's time for things to happen. Now, there's going to be a lot of other people around these parts. So we do have to be careful not to... Uh... Also, if we die, we lose a lot of stuff. So I really do not want to die. But there are going to be other enemies that we have to be ready to take down. So I'm kind of going to try to do that first. Uh, oh no. Oh no. There's the big one. Okay, so I don't want... He's going to aggro us right away, regardless of what happens. But what I want to do is kill the other things around here. I don't always... Like, because there are other enemies that will try to attack us. And I don't want them to attack us when we least expect it. But honestly, the hell with it. We'll deal with that when that time comes. Let's deal with the big one. Let's start using up some of our guns a little bit. We should come in from the same place. The big one should be the only one aggroed in on us, right? Yeah, there he is. All right. What up, big one? Oh, God. M16s don't even damage him. Well, that's not good. Uh, good thing I didn't bring many of those. Oh, mama. Do only shotguns damage him? Dude, if only shotguns damage him, we may have a little bit of a problem. Well, this one doesn't have a sight, to be fair. Will this do enough damage if we pop the laser sight on there? Okay, we got to see. Because if not... A couple of our guns have kind of just been rendered useless, which would be pretty bad. <laughs> what up, big one? How you doing? Nope, that doesn't damage him either. Well, okay. So that's going to be a problem. How about the AK? Will the AK be able to damage him? If not, this is getting bad because more and more of our weapons are getting rendered useless. I know the shotgun can, and I know the minigun can, but if the AK can't, this is going to be bad. We need to invest a little bit harder. Damn it! Okay. Let's try that with the sights. If this doesn't work, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. Hey, buddy. Nope. Okay, now we're trying the shotgun. If the shotgun doesn't damage him, we have a problem. But I thought for sure at least some of the, like, better AKs could. But if not, this is not looking good. Did they change him, maybe? Okay. So the shotgun does three damage to him. So I think what happens is for every 20 damage that a weapon does, it does one damage, pretty much. So... What we're left with is the minigun should be able to do one damage at a time, and the dragon, or the Ventoras should be able to do some damage, but that's about it. And in terms of our arsenal, a lot of it consists of weapons that... Aw, oh man, we... We were not as prepared for this as I thought we might be. We need more shotguns. I don't think I got... Yeah, I don't need... I, shotguns can't be modified, so I didn't even get enough shotguns from those crates. We've been bamboozled by ourselves, but yeah. Yeah. Well, damn. That really sucks for us. Ah. Uh, huh. We're gonna have to stockpile some more shotguns and stuff, because shotguns do three damage a pop. I think we just used, like, a pretty full durability shotgun. I don't know how many uses a shotgun gets. I want to say it's like probably 20 to 30. So each shotgun could probably do 60 to 90 damage. We would need a lot more shotguns than what we have to be able to do this. I think we need to retreat for now. The big one wins this encounter. All right, dude, I'm bleh. Yeah, whatever. At least we got this on the way. Not that we're going to be able to have room for anything, but to hell with it, well, at least we get to use the guns a little bit. Why don't we use some, why don't, well, why don't we put this thing to use? I just feel like mowing some things down, and right? I gotta take out my frustrations. Okay, I'm angry. 
I'm angry. The big one's too OP, man. I mean, he's supposed to be, but still. So that means... Uh, yeah. I would have used the miniguns, but listen, I know we don't have enough weapons to take that guy down. We're gonna need to get some more shotguns. Dude, it's- this motorcycle is so cool, but... We're gonna need to get more shotguns. I'm just gonna mow you down. I gotta feel powerful right now, okay? After how powerless I felt from the big one, I gotta feel a little bit on the powerful side. I'm gonna do that through my buddy, the M16 here. Hey, buddy. God, it's satisfying. I've never used such a powerful gun on such not powerful things, but it feels good, man. Look at that. I'm just mowing things down. Oh, the fully modded AK. Man, it would have been awesome if the AKs did barely enough damage to damage him, though, but unfortunately they do not. So if I'm doing the math here, let's just say a shotgun can do... I'm not sure. We'll just say 25, 25 shots before it breaks. We do 3 damage per hit with the shotgun. That means a shotgun, each shotgun can do 75 damage total to the big one. So 10 shotguns will do 750, and then the minigun might be able to do the rest, so... We're gonna need to get like seven more shotguns or something, and even if I wanted to hop some crates to do that, the only way to get that is through the rare weapon crate. That's the only way. Actually, no, that doesn't even give you shotguns. What in tar- Whoop! What in tarnation? Can you not even get, uh, weapons from- Or can you not even get shotguns from any of these things? Really? Is the shotgun just that rare of a weapon? I- I guess it is. You can't- can't get the shotgun. That's really weird. You could get the VSS and we do have a couple of the VSSs. They should do two damage a pop. I'm going to have to do some research here though. And I'll get back to you guys in a gif. Actually, before I do that research, why don't we hop into this and see if this has anything good for us. But what you got, Crate? What you got? Ooh, nothing too shabby. Too bad I can't pick any of it up. Get the hell away from here. You really want to do this, Lissandra? Bad idea, Lissandra. You may not have the pantalones, man. But well, listen, you are not the no pantalones, man. All right, that's me. I'm the one without the pantaloons here. Oh, no. Get away, Grey Wolf. My God, everyone's trying to attack us. Is this what it's like to feel popular? Uh, regardless, though, we're going to head back to base, recuperate there, and uh, realize this is a greater task at hand than I thought it might be. It really is. All right, so this is where I need to ask you guys to do some research because I tried my best to look through it. But even the internet does not contain the information we require. And this information is going to be pretty important to know if we're going to have enough to take down that fella over there. So I got to ask you guys this. If you have a shotgun and you maybe plan on going through the bunker or something, or you plan on murdering some, uh, murdering some uh, frenzy giants, or maybe you have a VSS Ventores and you plan on murdering some things, right? There's a giant favor I need to ask from you. And it is a favor that will resonate deeply with me and I would be for a very long time thankful to you and if you could spread that info in the comments that'd be amazing but I could not find this information anywhere I'll do my best to try and find it myself but I don't want to use the shotguns to find it because shotguns even I couldn't even get my hands on more of them shotguns are gonna be really luck of the draw because I don't I thought weapon crates used to drop them but I guess not the only way you can get them is out of like some of these packs now I guess so it's a little bit of a struggle for us, but back to what I was saying. If you guys maybe plan on going through the bunker, you have a full durability shotgun, you're gonna have to take down those frenzy giants, right? Or maybe you could go through some of my old videos and watch and try to find, like, try and count how many shotguns there are. But, uh, I, what I'm trying to find out is how many uses each shotgun gets before it breaks. Because we need that information to know if we're gonna be able to take down the big one, and hopefully I could take down the big one for you guys. But, this is gonna be quite the challenge. And there's also the VSS Ventura's part of it. That's a little bit harder of me to ask you guys. I, I agree with that. This is a little bit of a gun on the rare side. But, if one of you guys is willing to do such a sacrifice, and to let me know, even like tweet it at me or something, I'd appreciate that a ton. So then hopefully we are prepared for what needs to be done. Because this is going to be... It's gonna be big. Taking down the big one will be big. We just have to know if we have enough firepower to do it because pretty much I'm going to show you guys the only weapons that can hurt. So out of what we brought, only these bottom six guns could have hurt him. Everything else here did no damage to him. Nada. Zip. Nada. Well, actually, we did bring like two shotguns too, I think. 
But other than that, yeah, that is it. That is it. So I guess technically you could say that this bottom row here could damage him. That's not enough. If like, I'm guessing the shotgun can do 70, like we get 25 uses of it. So it does like 75 damage. Well, if we count all of those up, four times 75, that's 300 damage between the shotguns, two of the miniguns worth the damage, and then two VSS Ventoras is worth the damage. We would have been cut short. We wouldn't have done enough damage. And the problem is, as soon as we would have walked away from that fight, he would have regenerated and we would have had nada. So today is not the fabled day, unfortunately. So we're going to have to toss some of these weapons back in the armory. And you know what we can do, though? We could finally put some of those finishing touches I've been talking about for quite a while. We could finally put them on the base. Uh, so first things first, though, I'm going to put a lot of the stuff back where it belongs. I mean, it's a sad place to put it after how epic I thought things may have gotten. But uh, we're going to put... Oh, didn't mean to grab that. We're going to put some of these things back where they belong. The bottom row of those things. So I apologize sincerely. I didn't know... I, I thought for sure at least some of these weapons could do one damage to him, but I... I guess not. Unfortunately. I guess not. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Wasn't I gonna bring some more weapons with me? Yeah, I was. Why don't I bring a couple more katanas here? I do plan on breaking through and doing some good stuff over there in the bunker. So I'm gonna need plenty of melee weapons for that. And a couple of guns. Oh, you know it's another thing we could do too? We do have a couple of more planks, which means we should be able to slowly... I know I said a couple. Not as much as I'd want it to be either. I know, I know. I'm sorry it's not more. All right, actually, there might be some of the workbenches too, but hold up. I think we should have a couple of them spread out throughout these parts. If we can grab some stones, we can put some more finishing touches on the base. And bada bing bada boom. That's one upgrade. That's two. That's one upgrade. And we don't have the stone bricks right now, but... We can, at the very least, upgrade these walls to level 2. If the horde comes and breaks them down after this, I might cry. But all we gotta do now is just get... We do still have a couple of planks here. We got just enough. All we're short on is the uh, actual stone bricks. So, you know what? We could do a little bit of a sack. Uh, that's gonna end up costing a lot of coins to do this, though. It's gonna be a total of uh, 160 to get all that we want. So, instead, we're gonna play the waiting game here. But once the waiting game is over, which should be... Takes these things, what, like three minutes a pop? So in about two hours, we should have enough resources to do it. So next episode, we should be able to put the final finishing touches on this. And we will finally have a second room fully protected from a potential multiplayer and raid update. So I'm going to go and hopefully start trying to get those bricks heading over to the bunker. But we have done plenty of bunker runs, so I don't plan... Oh, those AKs, though. I don't plan, at least in this video, on continuing the bunker runs. Like I said, I'll try to do a little bit of my free time. All right, unless we got something to talk about, in which case, okay, that's a different story. But uh, still, let me know what you think of the big one in terms of, like, I, I don't know. Personally, another thing that I'd like to know is, like, do you think that other weapons should be able to damage him? Because I feel like, yeah, look at that. We got to walk, or, yeah, we got to walk anyway. I'm not going to spend any more energy right now. But, like, even with the big one, right, I feel like... I don't know. I, I feel like even like, I feel like at least the fully modded AK that does 18 damage, you know, should be able to hurt him. Or at least AKs should be able to do one damage to him. Like, maybe that'd make it too easy, but come on. Like, M16s, okay. That makes sense. But AKs are like the best rifle in the game. Not counting the VSS. That's a sniper rifle, though. I think. That's a little different, so. I don't know. What do you think that, like, I think that AKs should be able to hurt him. Let me know if you disagree with that, agree with that. What weapons you think should be able to hurt him? Because I agree, he still has to be a challenge, but it, it sucks that the only weapons that can hurt him right now are the weapons that we are missing. So I'm going to be doing everything I can in my power to get our hands on some more of them. And we'll be taking things from there. But other than that, that's going to wrap it up with me for now. Wish you guys nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world for reals. I seriously hope that it's going to be absolutely amazing for you guys. I hope that it goes awesome. I hope nothing but the best is going on with you. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. It was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.